Hi guys, it's me. Just calling to say hello. Um, you know, just been working and uh, uh, trying to do a good job there, and uh, just trying to get to know everybody still. Um, but uh, other than that, I uh, had cheeseburger today and uh, kind of just hanging out. But I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope you guys are having fun. I sent some goggles. They should be there on Thursday, so you'll both have a pair. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. All right, I got a story for you today. It's Never Let a Unicorn Scribble. All right, I recently got a pet unicorn. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everyone keeps telling me, never let a unicorn scribble. I wonder why. I don't know. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows. So why can't they scribble? I thought if I gave her one crayon, what could go wrong? Well, I'll tell ya, she ate it. Uh-oh. Now, my favorite pink crayon was traveling to the belly of my unicorn. This is probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble, because they eat crayons. Then it occurred to me, maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and started to scribble. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and even a crazy scribble. Now that she could see how crayons work, I thought I'd give her another chance. I took out a teal crayon and placed it right in front of her. And she ate it in half. Listen to me, unicorn. We do not eat crayons. We draw with them. But then I realized a unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that's why she was eating them. I had an idea. Maybe if I tried to tie a few crayons to her horn, that would help her scribble. Within seconds, glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from a fire hose. Well, that's pretty cool. Sparkling rainbow scribbles were everywhere. They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls, they were even on my lamp. I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while now, but I don't think this is what she had in mind. Then I heard a noise down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. I popped out of my room and blocked the door. Before my mom could say anything, I started to explain the mess she was about to see. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a unicorn scribble. But I had to find out why. So I gave my unicorn a crayon, and then she ate it. Then I tried to teach her to scribble, but then she ate another crayon. So I, try I tied the crayons to her horn, and boy, was that horn magical. The scribble started shooting out like a water fountain, and they were so sparkly. But I, but it made such a mess, and I'm sorry. My mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made a glowing masterpiece. When I turned around, all the scribbles were right on my easel. Not on the ceiling, not on the wall, not on my lamp. They were all on one big piece of paper and it was the most amazing art ever. At this time, people wanted 
to stop unicorns from scribbling. All this time, people wanted to stop unicorns from scribbling. It could be because they eat crayons, or because it's so messy, but if my unicorn had never scribbled, she would never learn, she would have never learned how to make this masterpiece. So the next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember, all art starts with a scribble. And even unicorns have to start somewhere. The end. All right, guys. That was my story. I hope you guys have a good night, and I hope you guys are having fun out there. Um, I love you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.